time again for Skippin' Guests. Joining us today is actress Julie Miller, who is currently giving us a stunning portrayal of Marilyn Monroe in the one-woman show, Marilyn in Her Own Words. Also with us is actress Susan Strasberg, who knew Marilyn personally. No doubt Susan will have some frank comments to offer about Miss Monroe. And now, here's your man of the half hour, Skippy Lowe. Susan Strasberg, tell me. Just got back from you Patty. Were. Whenever you You're say a... tell me, I get nervous. Do you Skip. really? <laughs> well, what's new and exciting in your life right now? Everything. <laughs> Which part do you want to know? I just came back from Paris. From Paris. Where I was teaching, interestingly. Uh -huh. It's the first time I've been to Europe as a, an acting teacher, uh -huh. and not an actress. Right. And before, I'm going back also. I'm going to Switzerland, Paris, mm -hmm. Rome, Vienna, and possibly London. It's uh -huh. not bad. And hopefully I'll do films You'll in be between. Teach, teaching all those places? You know what it is? I've been, you know how old I am. Everybody actually knows how not old really. I am because I said it in the beginning of my book. I, right, I right. put my birth date so that I would get readings from astrologers, which I did. <laughs> so, you know, I've been in this business, I've been acting for 38 years, and, mm. you know, my father and mother were in the business, right. and I've been, what, a, a member of the actor's studio for 30 years. Right. There comes a time when it's time to put something back, to give back everything mm -hmm. that you've gotten. And yes. I've gotten, I've been very blessed. I've got a great deal. It's very pleasurable for me. Almost more pleasurable teaching in some ways mm -hmm. than acting, because it's new, it's a challenge, yes. it's exciting. Plus, I keep seeing the world again, and it's just wonderful. Mm -hmm. Before I left, we did a, what do you mean, what's new? We, you we, did a movie with me. I, I did a, yeah, a small part. I great. taught him everything he knows. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you were tell good. Us about you were very Did you good see the rashes? I didn't see them. Um, I just saw some of them. Uh -huh. I didn't see the whole thing. I don't know what the movie Michael is Parks. like. Michael Parks. Michael Parks is in it. Michael Parks, Frank Stallone, Stallone. Uh, Doug McClure, wonderful mm -hmm. actor Billy Drago. Uh -huh. uh, it's a good cast. And, Skip and it's Eero. called. It's called Prime Suspect. When is it coming out? I have no idea. <laughs> you know, it's one I, of those movies. <laughs> it, I, Betty Davis once said, "Never go see any movies you've done. That way, you can." Expect that they're wonderful, and uh -huh. if they're terrible, you don't know, and if they're wonderful, you, you don't know, and so you can say good things about them. It, uh, and it was directed by Thomas Michael Cost. Uh -huh. and Great director. His first, yeah, wonderful, his first, yeah. Uh, first film. Uh -huh. And it's uh, kind of psychological. Through it. It was, I liked it because, uh -huh. you know, it's a strange thing. I, it took me a long time to play mothers, doctors, lawyers. I think maybe because I was, was small. Uh, people tended to see me as being younger, so uh -huh. that I wound up being kind of, I felt as if I was the oldest ingenue in town, right. um, which is not a pleasant feeling, particularly in this town. <laughs> Other towns it can be all right, <laughs> but you know, in Hollywood, which is a company town, that can be right. difficult because I really don't want to live my life getting up in the morning and looking uh -huh. and seeing how my chin is doing uh -huh. or have uh -huh. I developed a new line. So that I made a tremendous effort to play, I won't say character parts, but uh -huh. different kinds of parts. Yes. And in this, I play a psychiatrist, a mm -hmm. little neurotic, which most psychiatrists actually are, which uh -huh. is probably why they become doctors. What is it? We teach what we most need to learn uh -huh. ourselves. So that uh, that was fun for so me. So you enjoyed doing that? I en you know something, Skip? At this point in my life, if I don't enjoy it, I don't do it. Oh. Hopefully, I mean, well, there are, let's put it this way, there are enough things that you have to do that you don't want to do, but the things you can choose, and I'm lucky that I can mm -hmm. teach and act and write. You know, I've just finished a play, right. and I'm still working on the book. It's the same book I was working on last Another time I saw it. No, well, it's not, yes, it's a sequel to Bittersweet. It's uh -huh. called Magical Journey, mm -hmm. and it's kind of a metaphysical odyssey. One of the chapters, if you will like, is called Inner Spaced Out in Hollywood. Inner space yes, out so that out. it's, okay. but it's all my metaphysical, mystical experiences, uh -huh. and it has a lot of material uh, dealing with my relationship with my father, which wasn't in the first book uh -huh. because he was alive when I wrote the first book, and I really felt that out of respect to him, I, he was more private in some ways yes. than I am now. There have been books written about him; his own book uh -huh. has come out, so uh, I feel free to tell perhaps more of the truth than I told in the last book. Who else could tell it rather than the daughter? Yeah. Who else? Well, Susan, growing up and as a Strasburg. Growing up? Growing up as a Strasburg. You think I'm grown up? Thank theater, you. Theater. I mean, you've done a lot yeah. of theater. Yes. And you've been around theater. the best. Yes. Marilyn Monroe. 
came mm -hmm. to your father. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. Well, why did he come to your dad first? I mean, he was the best. What, made, words, what, made, him the be what made him the best? I'll tell you, um, there are a lot of good teachers teaching. Right. right. And my father, whether you loved him or didn't get on with him, was, first of all, I, I feel that he was a genius. And what is a genius? Someone who's able to capture elements of some craft that other people right. are. He had powers of perception that I think most of the other, mm -hmm. uh, not many people have. Right. He also had the ability to inspire people. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, that goes beyond what you teach. Right, right. Ten people, I can give you, uh, I can give ten people a paintbrush, mm -hmm. and they can all paint, but not everyone's going to be Michelangelo. Yeah. My father had this passion with which he was able to awaken people's mm -hmm. will. On top of that, what he did was he took Stanislavski's work, uh -huh dealing with acting, which right. really was just based on what all the great actors of the past had done. It wasn't that Stanislavski made up and, uh -huh. uh, new things. He discovered and correlated what actors did when they were good so that the, it could be repeated at will, because otherwise yes. the actor was always dependent on inspiration uh -huh. or identifying with the part. Uh -huh. Well, what happens when on the 30th take you don't mm -hmm. feel like it anymore, or you have to hit your mark right. and right. get the light and they go up and you still have to play the scene? So okay. that what my father did for Stanislavski is he took Stanislavski's work and personalized it, making it into very concrete tools uh -huh covering the whole perspective of human behavior, feeling, sensory reality, uh, physical behavior, uh -huh. in a way that anybody could use. Now, obviously a great actor, uh -huh. anything that they study, it doesn't really matter. Let's put it this way, Marlon Brando and Geraldine Page, Great. both uh, Marlon uh, was a member of the Actors Studio. I believe he worked uh -huh. uh, before with uh, someone else. Geraldine had worked, I think, with Uta Hagen for seven years. Uh -huh. She came to the studio and made another transformation. transformation. But Geraldine was a great actress. Yes. She would have been great uh -huh. if she hadn't studied. Uh -huh. uh, How about Marilyn? Let's get with Marilyn. Right. What, with Marilyn, it made a big difference. What happened is I met Marilyn. I came out to do my first movie, which was with Vincent Minnelli uh, directing. And I was taken on the set by, I think, Sidney Skolsky to meet Marilyn. Yes. And it, it, Joe DiMaggio was on the set. I was, I'll never forget because she fell. She was singing, uh, We're having a heat wave, a tropical heat wave. She fell right on her behind, I think, because <laughs> she was a little nervous. <laughs> Afterwards, my mother and I went to, to see her in her dressing room, and she said, You know, I really want to come east and study. Uh -huh. Well, I thought it was, you know, charming, being nice, Hollywood, whatever. And she showed up about, I think, within a year mm -hmm. after that, which, by the way, took enormous courage. People don't realize it takes a lot of guts before women's lib, yes. before a lot of the changes, yes. when yeah. Hollywood was still a studio town, yes. Yes. to say to a studio, goodbye, Gone to New so York. long, I am going to New York. To be a common actress. I want, I know mm -hmm. that I'm capable of more. There's someone inside me uh -huh. who <clears throat> is not being seen and felt, and I have something more that I uh -huh. want to give. Uh -huh. She didn't want to become a caricature of herself. She wanted to be more, which is really fantastic. And you know, it's a strange thing. I think about it now because, uh -huh. you know, uh, kind of every year when it comes time. Marilyn, this is her anniversary right now. The anniversary. And you know, we have a young lady I went to see the other day. Susan, she is just wonderful. Her name is Julie Miller, and she is doing Marilyn, a one-woman show. I've heard. What a challenge to take this on. <laughs> that that takes courage, Miller. too. <laughs> it takes courage, yes. She's beautiful, isn't she? Thank you. Tell me Thank about you. Julie Miller. Why? Why Marilyn? Yeah. Because mm, I saw you question. in Sugar Babies. You were in uh -huh. Sugar Babies uh -huh. uh, with Joe Namath mm -hmm. and Robert Morris. Sugar. Uh, sugar. 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 Uh -huh. sugar. That's right. And yeah. that you went Sugar Babies with uh, Mickey with Rooney. The, yes. And so Marilyn is a good yes. offer. Yes. That's yeah. right. <laughs> a wonderful part. Yeah. yeah. You were with, uh, yeah, she was in Sugar <clears throat> with Robert Morris and no, Joe No, with Joe Namath and Buddy Powell. Oh, then Bobby You're came here. Yes. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah was, Bobby. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, that was in Atlantic City? Yes. I see. Well, I'll tell you, um, about uh, five years ago, uh, when I was doing Sugar, uh, my manager had seen it, and that there had been some really good reviews come out of that. And a lot of interns uh, just came up about it. And um, Greg um, had seen a lot of things that resembled Monroe yes. in his eyes. And there were a lot of other circumstances that I 
get mixed up a lot of times, but he decided that that was that we should start writing something. Uh -huh. We had seen Gabe Kaplan's uh, show on Groucho, yes. and that was a, oh, you a wrote quite an show then. Yes. Oh, oh he I wrote it. Yes. Oh, Great. I didn't uh -huh. realize. That. Yes. Uh, and. Um, and that was a big influence, you know. And right. so he kept saying that there was a lot of me that reminded him of her. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we started compiling a lot of her words and everything else, and that's her how it started. Using her yeah. She was actually using like the words that Marilyn said. Well, Marilyn oh, absolutely. Was wonderful, yes. by the yes. way. You know, it's another Profound, Gemini. yeah. She was a Gemini. Gemini like you and I. Like skip. you and I. A little schizophrenic, always late, but terrific. <laughs> but she was not late to your opening of. It's. What is this? It was the, the opening night of Anne Frank. As Anne far Frank. As I know, it's Look at that. The only event in her life that she was ever early for. And what happened is that uh, I guess we talked to her. My dad said, "You know, Marilyn, if this is this play, which is really uh -huh. has a lot of meaning for people, mm -hmm. if on opening night you make an entrance, it would have thrown the whole play off because people would just have been paying attention to her." And she said, "Okay." And she got there early before uh -huh. anyone was in the theater and yes. sat quietly. quietly. And it was hard because you know, she loved and deserved attention. Uh -huh. And the thing is, my father, once she said to my father, you don't understand, Lee, I just can't be on time. And he said, darling, you don't have to be on time. Be early. <laughs> <laughs> Julie, great. getting back to you, the song, you're singing Marilyn's songs. It's so mm -hmm. wonderful. Your songs are great. Thank the heat you. wave, all those great songs. That's a lot of fun in that because I am a singer-dancer. And, right. and in that part, I get to, you know, cut loose a little bit, that's you know, nice. and go back into that. So that's a lot of fun in the center of the You show. seem like you're really enjoying it, you know. <laughs> I mean, I'm just getting a lot of attention here in Hollywood right now with the show. We, the yeah, it is The getting, reviews are good. At the theater, what theater out. is it at? The New Playwrights Foundation Theater. It's on the... On Fairfax the, on, and Olympic. Fairfax. Every night? Thursday through Sunday. Strange like little wherever. theater. It's, a, <laughs> it's like a house. I <laughs> adore it. Right. But it's adorable. It's very it's, intimate. It's, it's like very, going it's, to see Marilyn at a house. At a house. That's, that's even better. Yeah. It's, it well, really is. It's baby blue. How is the audience responding to it? They're great. You know, every night it's different. Some nights uh -huh. you can hear a pin drop, you know, and they laugh in different places every night and they. Uh, well, they do laugh at different places. Oh, sure. different places, yeah. and they uh -huh. applaud at different things. People, you know, uh -huh. people have such a personal relationship with Marilyn, even uh -huh. young people. I yes. can't. And we had the uh, um, president of the International Fan Club, mm -hmm. Wendy, in, and and she's been back four times now. And they, it things affect you differently. You know, yes. it's it's this is a loving tribute to her, and it really. I think it touches some real tender places, and I think a lot of people don't know uh -huh. that a lot of things in her life affected her the way they did, you know. That Much more deeply somehow deeply, than she allowed uh -huh. people. She was like a little girl, it. wasn't she, Susan? Like a, was she, she had a, child? a side of herself. Well, all actors to some extent do, but it's also, I think it's just her energy in particular because also from the difficult childhood, there was that child in her which never really got enough so mm. never grew uh -huh. up to some extent yes. and therefore was always looking for ways to express itself and it was painful for her at times. She uh, fortunately had the humor. Uh -huh. You know that I think it's that which it was a saving grace. The fact that she could I was telling Julie she, she did have a sense of humor. Well for instance mm. she could look and say oh God and mean it you know uh -huh. with like tears in her eyes uh -huh. oh God I just want to kill myself <coughs> unless I get a better offer. <laughs> <laughs> oh I see. Oh, really? So that it was that that being uh -huh. able when she was in good shape, and uh -huh. by good shape I mean when emotionally she was a little more centered because she was very insecure, uh -huh. when she was not drinking, not taking sleeping pills. And so f a, mm -hmm. a pity in a way because if she had uh -huh. been now alive, the problems that she had years are out. not resolved by the kind of therapy uh -huh. that she went into. Yes. They're resolved by acknowledging that you have uh -huh. uh, a substance abuse problem uh -huh. and it would have been taken care of easily mm -hmm. then. Uh -huh. They were taking care of her problems as a child instead yes. of the immediate problems yeah. she had. Julie, you're a beautiful lady. I mean, uh, really, a beautiful so nice. lady. Now, you Thanks. must, I'm you know, very, very talented. You're, Thank you're, you. Do you find yourself very much like Marilyn? Well, because you're so you know, beautiful. Tell us. I, well, that's very sweet of you. It's, it's, that's a difficult question only because. Because um, your body I'm in what is incredible. Yeah, but yeah. It's more important, I, not the physical, I would think, but in what ways she, she emotionally feels. A connection with Marilyn or sees that they may yeah, be that's alive. Yeah, that's interesting. That's interesting. Because the okay. physical thing is the yeah. least of it. It's the spirit. Mm -hmm. it's I, I would say probably the, the closest thing is is that attention and wanting to be loved. I think there's a mm -hmm. lot of it. That's I come from a very large family. Where from, and Julie? From Wenatchee, Washington. Washington. Oh, the oh, Apple capital of the world. Uh -huh. Yeah. And 
You know, my, um, my mother and father always would tell me that when I was a kid, I was always trying to, you know, get attention or, or try, I was always, I, the, the strange thing is that I, there would be stories I'd read and I'd say, God, I used to do that. Like sitting uh -huh. alone on my porch writing poetry when I was mm. a kid, I used right. to do all the time. Or singing out loud or whatever it was. And I think some of my own insecurities, ha, come uh -huh. out, you know. Uh -huh. And there's just a lot of that, you know, relationships with people. Um, but uh, I don't think I'd go to extremes like she did. But only, you know, I wouldn't think of those things if I wasn't involved in a Marilyn Monroe project. Uh -huh. But when you are, then those things click in your head. You go, oh, that's like me, you know. Oh, that. But otherwise, you wouldn't think of that in your own life. Yeah. But granted, there, I think there has to be something in me that's a lot like her to be able to do what I do with this. I have to have some kind of connection. Study acting? Washington? Back in Washington? No. Or New York? Mm -hmm. California? Well, how did Julie, how did Julie <laughs> Miller get into the business? I, how did I get into the yeah. business? <laughs> well, I was singing in Wenatchee, and um, this man came through town looking for a singer to open an act with a group called Brownsmith that was touring for Coca-Cola. Uh -huh. And people in town told him that I sang. Uh -huh. And he came to school and asked me if I wanted to sing for this group, and that was Greg Thompson, who to this day is my manager. Uh -huh. and. Um, I started singing in little nightclubs That's with great. another guy, uh -huh. and then, you know, it got we got good reviews, and I, the show built, and then I learned, got four guy dancers and eight guy dancers. I started doing big production shows, and then when I got to New York, I studied with Steve Wyman, who's now director of Days of Our Lives, uh -huh. and producer, and um, I worked with some different classes in New York, uh -huh. and then I landed a television series called The Fabulous Follies, which is in syndication. Uh -huh. And so along the lines, and I started doing musical theater, you uh -huh. know. And then you got into Sugar Babies. And Sugar Babies and mm -hmm. Sugar, and uh -huh. then I've been studying with the director of the show, Sherry Myers, is uh -huh. also my acting coach and director of the show. You got wonderful reviews and awards in Atlantic City. Tell me about that, Sherry. Well, you were the woman of the year, the entertainer of the year <laughs> in Atlantic <laughs> City. Well, you know, <laughs> well, in <laughs> I was, Atlantic I was City very, just fell for you. They gosh, loved Julie I, Miller. It was a great, fabulous experience there. Um, I went and worked for Steve Wyman at the Golden Nugget, right. and I starred in the Fabulous Follies there, in the Boardwalk Follies, and I did the Broadway Follies, which was a venue of a lot of Broadway, different Broadway musicals, and I, one of them was Fanny Bryce, a funny girl, and that oh. particular segment of the show won me Entertainer of the Year mm -hmm. there. I see. And I think you're just wonderful. Really, yeah. Susan, you've I'll got to see, see her. She's wonderful. Oh, oh, she does, right. Marilyn. I wish you would do it. Would you do a little something? <laughs> uh, uh, like something, something light? Fun, light? No, from, from the show. Um, from, well, sometimes right. it isn't too difficult to get into character. but Because yeah. um, uh, you're so beautiful. I remember once I was doing a part, uh, part in a movie from the... Uh, a part from... Ladies of the Chorus. And, no, it wasn't Ladies of the Chorus. It was, uh, <laughs> I got a part in a Mars Brother movie. No acting, just sex again. I had to wiggle across the room. I practiced jiggling my backside for a week, and Groucho loved it. His eyes popped out. I remember he made this joke off screen. He said, young lady, I think you're a case of arrested development. With your development, someone's bound to get arrested. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be loved by you, just you, and nobody else but you. I want to be loved by you alone. Boop, boop, be doo. That's, That's wonderful. Do you know what I like? Lighter. <laughs> she keeps it within like Marilyn sings within. Mm -hmm. Marilyn did singing within. Yes. She yeah. never out. Am I correct? <laughs> she, yeah, she changed she, also tremendously, Marilyn. She underwent a big transformation. I mean, if you look at the early films and the later uh, films. When your father c took over. When, well, when she took over. When she, she took, took over? She took responsibility for her own oh, life. Okay. And my father helped her. I Nobody see. Really Very interesting. Took over. She, he was not uh, Svengali in that sense. Although he, I don't think she could have done it because my mother coached her in all those later films also. But she really, I saw her do scenes in class. She didn't have the walk the speech, and in person, by the way, uh -huh. the speech was not, she, in the early films, exaggerated it, mm -hmm. but she could be very, I mean, she could get right down there, uh -huh. and when she got mad, it went, zoomed right high, pitched, mm -hmm. she did mean 
but by mean I mean good imitations of people, by the way. Uh -huh. of, uh, she did personate people, didn't she? Oh, I once saw her do a killer imitation of Mitzi Gaynor. Uh, <laughs> really? Uh, and uh, that's that's I'd that's love that's to see uh, that. I think she had worked with in no business like show business, yeah. I'm not sure, yeah. And uh, she had it, she was very sharp, do you know what I'm saying? Not sharp, but it was like she had kind an edge. She yeah. had an edge, wow. and she would get, uh, could get hysterical like most, good classic mm -hmm. hysteric, uh -huh. a little more though. Uh -huh. as, as Julie said, that it, it distorted a little bit, in other words, mm -hmm. that she, by distorted, I mean the neurosis got in the way yes. at, at a yeah. point which she would not allow it to, uh -huh. and then was uh, made worse by uh -huh. the substances. You know, I really like about the show, Marilyn, I, I'm Marilyn, I'm going to call you Marilyn. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I really okay. love about the show, the opening of the show. It's oh, wonderful. what is the opening? It's the Sinatra music. Oh, well, and which I Marilyn lo loved. Sinatra oh, so. and the bed, the, uh, it's one, oh, the, the mirrors. Oh, the opening is Kiss. It's Kiss, yes. Yeah, yeah Kiss, but the, the, the bed, oh, it's Kiss. Yeah. It's close, yeah. right? Oh, yes, we do Sinatra. have Sinatra before, you're right. You do, Excuse you have me. Sinatra. Uh -huh. And that's what I really liked. And then yeah. it goes into Kiss. Yes, it See? does. I forgot, Skip. You have to remind right. me. Right. Well, I'm curious. What it's a it? wonderful way of getting into it. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a I just thought I'd like to ask, what is the most difficult thing for you to create on stage about Marilyn? Or have you not written that into the play? In other words, what is the, the hardest part of it? The hardest, you, yes. In terms of the emotional thing. Well, we really try to cover that there's two characters there. That there's yes. Norma Jean and Marilyn, yes. you know. Uh -huh. And I'd say the hardest part for me was a lot of the uh, the anger, because I'm a person in myself. Mm -hmm. uh, when I get angry, I have a tendency to hold it in instead yeah. of being boisterous or loud and screaming. Yeah. And I had to find a, a way to emote that, you know, mm -hmm. and find that anger. And the other thing was that that her doing was um, some of the things that hit home with me too, mm -hmm. where it was something some of the things that are real personal. You know, so it's like uh, my own subtext with a lot of them, you know. So to be able to use painful experiences from your own life when you act, to me, makes them pleasurable because it's like they're not a total loss. You've mm. actually transformed them, yes. used oh. them. It's done wonders for my yeah. health. Yeah. Yeah. Has it? Has it really? Yeah. Sure. Right Susan. out, you know. Do you think Marilyn <laughs> knew what she was doing the night, the pills? She forgot to count, or well, did she? she had done it before. In she did forget words, to count. No, yeah. she had done she the same thing tried before. To, yeah. In other words, I remember on her Do you hands actually think she really meant to do what she On that did? night, well, it's what I said to you. I'm going to kill myself unless I get a better offer. But she yeah. always kept the better offer in yeah. mind. Uh, but she would, what would happen is she would take pills. Then she would drink champagne. Oh. Then she would forget how many pills she taken. Saying. So she, and then the, she, with the champagne, as we know now, uh -huh. that that combination is what did uh, what uh -huh. killed Judy Garland. The uh -huh. uppers and the downers and the uh -huh. champagne is deadly. Uh -huh. And uh, so I think no, I don't think that she no. really knew. You know, had, if yeah. she had been in her full consciousness, yes. uh, awareness, no, I don't think. I she love that ever. scene when you're doing the, when you're drinking at the scene and. That's, that was a very, very touching scene. I thought it was wonderful. Thank you. Is this your first dramatic role? Yes. I've I done mostly musical theater. Yeah. Mostly musical. I think it's wonderful. You're getting a lot of good reaction at the mm, theater. Thank you. A lot you. of good people. Where you would like to take this show? From Maryland to... Where would I like to that's, take it? Everywhere. <laughs> because everywhere. it is a good show. Well, and, and um, I think you are the best. You're the very, you're very really best was doing really Maryland. I must say, you... You well, really are. And I, I love to shot. I'd love to have a shot of that um, Marilyn over there with the dress. Isn't that a beautiful? And that is Julie Miller. Hello. Mm. Now, would you say, Julie, it is a beautiful shot. Thank you. Do you have that yet on that? Isn't that a beautiful shot? Pablo, did you get that one? It's a nice beautiful one. one. How about Thank the one you. on the chair, Thank Pablo? You. Can you get that one? It's a beautiful one. Isn't that beautiful? I think yeah. it's wonderful. Who did those photographs? Um, uh, a man up in Seattle. Mm. Oh, really? Mm. Uh -huh. oh, interesting. We did that. So where would you like to take this show? I'd like to take it, as Susan said, everywhere. <laughs> no. Would you like to take no. it to New York, to Broadway? Uh, sure, of I course. think it should go. It deserves Broadway. Well, it really does. <laughs> you know, right that that's a dream. You know, that's a, that's a real dream. That would be, I mean, I think any, everyone would love to go perform Denver, Broadway. Denver, 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 Denver. Denver. Wouldn't you be stuck? 
the rest of your life as Marilyn after well, it. No, what do you think, Susan? That's not what if she. Th it would depend on the choices she made and what she played afterwards. Yeah. Oh. It would be up to her. I have to. I mean, this is a wonderful vehicle, and it's something that we've put a lot of time into. And I think I would like to take it absolutely as far as it could go. You uh -huh. know, uh -huh. because it deserves Probably that. Film it. And yeah, yeah, yeah. put into a film. A yes, it could uh -huh. be a special. Yes, and and but there are other things. I mean, I love doing performing live and singing and dancing with my uh -huh. guys and everything. Uh -huh. And I, I, there's a two flip sides of me. I like doing the serious thing and I like uh -huh. doing the thing that's Julie Miller. Really fun. Real name? Yes. Yes. Julianne Miller. In Julie fact. Ann Miller. In fact, my father um, uh -huh. named me after Ann Miller because uh -huh. that was his favorite girl. And you worked on the show with her. Yes, and it, when I got offered the job in Sugar Babies, one of the main reasons I took it, uh -huh. not only to work with a legend like Mickey Rooney and Ann, but was to make a dream come true for my dad. And uh -huh. when he met Ann See? Miller, he looked like a little uh -huh. kid. Uh -huh. He looked just like a little kid. It was the greatest thrill of my life uh -huh. to have my dad meet her. You, you should have seen him. Doesn't she remind you of Marilyn the way she so just said that? I mean, her dad. <laughs> Am I but correct? it was true. You know, it was great. You know who my father had been in love with when he was young, which always surprised everybody uh -huh. because, I mean, he obviously revered Eleanor Arduza, the great actors. Uh -huh. Atlas Faye was oh. his ah. childhood Hello, crush. <laughs> Hello, Frisco. And when he met Atlas Faye, uh -huh. he was in seventh heaven. It's uh -huh. so funny. That I love Betty Grable, the one who 20th oh, Century yeah. Fox. I thought, but see, Betty Grable, when she left 20th Century Fox after, Marilyn took over. That's she when Marilyn wrote, came right in. Right? Am I right, Jill? She wrote great things about Marilyn Monroe. Oh, did she? Yes, yeah, so that woman had a, a, everything I've read, had a beautiful feeling about helping her, and oh. she saw how things were happening, that Marilyn Monroe was coming up. Did you, did you re no, agree with that? No, it was in her book that she wrote? I think in one of them. I read it somewhere. Uh -huh. that yeah, what do you remember mostly about Marilyn Monroe? You said something to me at a live show. When you were back east, she came up into your room, and she said something, remember the ocean, it was some in Fire Island, it was in Fire Island? Oh, no, 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 no. she didn't, we were sharing a room together, we Please. were roommates yeah. for oh, this great. summer, Go ahead. and uh, I woke up in the morning and uh, she was standing naked, nude, at the window looking out at the ocean, and I was staring at her, uh -huh. and she turned around and caught me looking, and I went, oh, I, just, I <laughs> blushed, I said, Marilyn, I, was, uh, I said, you know, it's just that I'd do anything to be like you, and she looked at me and she said, oh, no, Susie, don't say that. She said, I'd give anything to be like you. People respect you. Uh -huh. And I sometimes think about it on the anniversary because I think that more than anything in her life, she wanted to be taken seriously. Uh -huh. And she had to die to get her wish. She true? was not really taken seriously. Was she truly in love alive. with the Kennedys? What I never asked her. Never. Uh -uh. <laughs> I mean, I... Uh, I would think, you know, people fall in love when you're both in film and uh -huh. they were like actors, let's but face it, politicians her. are like actors. Jack loved her. That she sang happy birthday that Yes, wonderful. I was there. That, you were? Uh, yeah, and then went to the party afterwards when then she left early was and he followed. Was she nervous when she walked out there saying yeah. that? She was. Oh, yeah. She, was, she used to get very nervous. She would be, you could see Gemini it, but just yeah. everything quivering, uh -huh. shaking. What sign are you, darling? Aquarius. She's Aquarius. Good sign for us. We're Geminis. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, that's a good. Lot of she's ideas. is an astrologer. Oh, I, 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 she was telling me she's an astrologer. She's wonderful. I, she's one of I, Hollywood's. I, yes, you are. Like Come on, Carl, Susan Strauss. I love it. <laughs> like Carl Jung, I do a little astrology on the side. It's a hobby and uh -huh. an interest of mine. Well.